All right, guys, we are back with another one. All right, 2025, we're gonna try to keep it real consistent this year with as many uploads as possible. Um, but yeah, today we got a good one. We have 15 multi-port cables coming in here that are running all throughout the neighborhood. They're going to a 288 uh, Prismian. So today's video is gonna be me showing how I'm gonna get all these 15 multi-ports stripped and ready to be entered into a FOSC in like as fast as we possibly can. I don't know, I say it probably take about half hour, 20 minutes, something like that to get them stripped and ready. But yeah, I'll throw you guys on the tripod and let's get into it. thing we're gonna do is get the Jonard stripper out Jonard tool uh, FOD 2000 yeah anyway it's just a drop stripper multi port stripper these are just flat flat cables same things you'd see as a flat drop it's just a multi port so there's more actual fibers within there instead of having it as a single so I'm gonna show you guys what I do I got for the FOSS 450C for every FOSS since it's single uh, it's gonna go straight to tray loose tube um, so I need five feet from this ring cut. Ring mark, five feet out. Next, one by one. Just gonna bring it down, bring it down to the ring cut. Mark, okay, your blade's right about here in the middle, right there. So I always like to use this as a reference, okay? Boom, I put my ring cut mark to the top of that every time. All right, let's get it on there. You can pull like this when they're brand new, but over time, blades get worn out. You can change those out. You can actually get spares. Um, but anyways, since the blades get worn out a bit, I like to, if I haven't, if I haven't changed, changed them yet, I like to put pressure right here on these two uh, blade holders right here. So I get a good grip on that. Pull and go. Pull and go. Yeah, one after another. I just want to keep doing the same thing. So, this my newer one. Yeah, it definitely looks a little bit newer. I think. That it is. All right. So we're going with the new one, and we're going to redo these ones because it did not feel like it was stripping very well there. So, there we go. Just one by one. Quickly. So this Fosk has 15, 15 multi ports, total of about 100 fibers being activated, spliced, and ready to go to customers.
have them all stripped. Or should I say, uh, okay, come down to the end, turn, turn. All right, peel, it'll split it both sides. Grab either side, pull, okay? Super simple, simple. Oh, now I'll just do this for every one, one by one. Very quick. They sometimes want to give you a little trouble to start. You can do one of those. Usually that'll work to get her going. Pair of needle nose pliers too. That's just what I have right quick to me, so I grab those. Alright. Sometimes they just don't want to get that start going, you know? Sometimes they're like that. Just depends how new that tool is, how those blades are doing. They wear out quick, but when you get a brand new one of those, you run over them once. Most of the time they're all just pop open on themselves. But yeah. After a few few falls, they'll get dull. So yeah, this technique is going to work all around, even for you uh, installers out there, anybody new to the to the game. It'd be a great little intro video. Did we miss this one? Because she ain't pop. No, we went over. You can see it. But one sec here. We'll go over it one more time. Stiff one, I guess. What's the old girl not wanting to go for, huh? How about now, huh? How about now? Yeah, you guys get the point here. It's uh, pretty pretty straightforward how to open these. Um, obviously, if you're new and never done it before, could be a little confusing and troublesome. But uh, come on, little buddy. How does that split like that? Hell no. Hell no. Do one of these. Just went right back. 
exactly the same shitty. Weird. There you go. It's a weird one. We are one to go. One to go. Okay, okay. So now we got this big old mess. All right. So now we're going to come through and just snip all these little ends. Snip that side, that side. Pull this moisture tape out, cut it flush, and trim up the strength members. Leave about Four inches, you know, about four inches on there. Something like that. All right, let's get it. All right, guys, so there we have it. We got them all 15 stripped, taped up, cleaned up on the ends here. So, Pretty straightforward video, not too long of one, going over my little technique of getting these done as quick as possible and efficiently. Um, now if it's for splicing, which it is here, I would go ahead and start grouping these in order from low count to high count, um, groups of four, because that's how they're going to enter into a FOSC, right? Because you got to throw a multi-port terminal on there. But yes, those, all that information's in some of my other videos. Um, we're going to end this one here. I just want to make a quick one for those out there looking to learn how to strip drops or multi-ports in a, in a quick fashion. That's what I want to do here. So I think we achieved that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, got more videos releasing, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.